Okay. Here's our sad tree. Getting out of the house is easier said cool, than cool, done. Cool, 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 cool. This is hanging out of your car. A used IV cord. Good morning guys. Happy Wednesday. I just got back a little while ago from taking our car into the shop because we've been having this noise, like extra road noise, and actually we got some messages from some of you guys saying, hey, this may be weird, but in your videos your car sounds louder than normal. So it turns Which out. Actually, I had said that like a week before that. Yeah, and, and so you guys Peter confirmed it. it. Like it was like all these different confirmations that there was something sounding weird. Anyways, it turns out it's our wheel bearing. We're getting it fixed tomorrow. And anyways, I just finished uploading the vlog for today, and we are getting ready to go out because it's kind of, well, right now it's cloudy, but it's kind of sunny and kind of warm today. It feels springy. And um, Mary isn't feeling great, but she feels like she wants to get out of the house. So we're going to do it. And we want to take her tree. I already put it in the car, but it's a tree that we got back 2012. in 2012. Oh Christmas 2012. We got this little tree. I think we got it at Walmart. Uh -huh. It's like a little pine tree. And it was our Christmas tree because we were displaced during that season. Anyways. All that to say, it's um, it's not been looking too great lately. We're gonna drop by a nursery and see what they have to say. Maybe just repotting it will be what we need to do. But hopefully we can uh, revive the the life of that because it's kind of a, a special memory to us as well. It was right after uh, my dad passed away and. We were living in Maryland uh, with our families and we didn't have a Christmas tree of our own and so that was our Christmas tree that year. Anyways, we're gonna go do that, see what else we get into, bring you along. Okay, here's our sad tree. So gonna... typically all of this is green. So you can see some green right here, but it's usually way green. So, so we're gonna see if this little nursery here can give us some advice. <coughs> Getting out of the house is easier said cool, than cool, done. Cool, 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 cool. We're back in the car now, and after coughing and throwing up a little bit, it reminded me <laughs> that night, a couple nights ago when I had that crazy headache, I tossed all my cookies. Like later in that night, I was coughing, I just, I made it to the bathroom. <laughs> But I think I noticed the next morning I had this little spot on my neck and it looks like a busted blood vessel. I used to get these like <clears throat> around my mouth um, from throwing up after coughing. <clears throat> I think that's what that is. It was a pretty violent vomiting session that night so I'm guessing that's what that little blood vessel issue is but anyway okay so the nursery recommended a tree and shrub potting soil mixture which they didn't actually have but we are gonna look <clears throat> we're gonna repot the Christmas tree and try the new soil and hope that it gets happier <clears throat> <clears throat> Nothing has changed. It's still in the same spot, same sun, same water. Uh, I don't know why it's not happy, but hopefully it's the pot and it needs a bigger pot or something. And <clears throat> well, it makes sense though. Um, yeah, that, that would be the case since she said roll of thumb is like half of the tree height, mm -hmm. and so it's definitely outgrowing. Right. The pot it's in. And what I was reading online was that you should repot it every two to four years. And I think it's been about four years. <clears throat> because I think my mom repotted it while we were in Scotland. So, that's our adventure for today. No, we are going to go try to find it a pot and soil. And, <clears throat> and um, do our thing. You know you're a cf or when. This is hanging out of your car. A used IV cord, my bad. All right, let's do this. 
new pot, old pot, sad tree, happy puppy, beautiful sunset. What more could we want? Peter does most of the dirt work because dirt can have some bacteria in it and so I try not to dig around in it. Now, what I read is if you take the tree on its side okay. and kind of hold on to the stem or whatever the, yep. what's it called? And then, <clears throat> yep, just kind of pull it out. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Yeah, it yep. was time. It was way out, bro. So, yeah, perfect. Yeah, and the girl today said shake as much off as you can. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Yeah, that was time. The tree was telling us it's time. I'm glad we got such a big pot. Yeah. I wonder if you should kind of break up that root issue at the bottom. Wow. Crazy. And then it said to bury it the same depth that it was previously buried. Okay, so let me add a little more. Okay. Yeah, that looks great. I hear birds. Awesome. <coughs> there it is. In its new home. Ta-da! Thank you. Okay, the first water in the big pot. We're thinking now that it has a pot that's like twice the size. And this uh, might fill this whole bay window before we know it. And uh, mm -hmm. did you tell them about the forsythias? So. Tell us about that. We cut some of our forsythias from outside. And it was just these twigs like this. And about 10 days later, they bloomed. Yeah, we stuck it in this mason jar with water. It's amazing. It's really magical. Yeah. I love forsythias. Also, I have like 48 tiny pots growing little succulent babies. Mm -hmm. So we purchased kind of a bowl pot Yeah. that I can have them all kind of in there. I think that might be good. And also, these are the succulents that came out of my Christmas tree because I used to have them around here. But the root system was so long. Look at that. That one, that one is not as impressive. I think that is so cool. The succulents were... Uh, there you go. Wow. Did you uh, text Amy a picture of that? I've got to. Because... Those succulents, we went to our friend's wedding, and as the name plate, what do you call them? Name, name markers? Yeah, you like pick up your name and it shows you what table to go to. It like had a little stake in it, I think, with your name and yeah, table number. A little flag, like a toothpick with a little flag. Yeah, and it was a succulent in there. Anyways, mm -hmm. that was. Seven years ago? Seven years okay. ago? No, more like six. Okay. A little, like six ish. Okay. So we had only had Oliver for like a month or two. Well, anyways, th those are from that wedding, and uh, Mary has had them growing ever since. My mom cared for them when we were in Scotland, and by no fault of her hers, they kind of died, but she kept a little sprig of it, and we all know what happens when you keep a sprig of a succulent. It will root, and so it rooted and then all of these have come from it and just <clears throat> I've had just so many these are from that original one I have more in the kitchen from that original one this is from the original one this I beheaded it and I thought mm, I'll just leave these two little dead looking leaves in here they both have rooted amazing so these are gonna grow new succulents so it's just crazy <clears throat> Mary is the queen of propagation and this succulent came from Ikea for $1.99, and I've placed it in a, a potty mug, of course. That's been, a, as you do. that's been a hardy one. I know. And it also has two babies. Really? Look, one, two. Amazing. <clears throat> so. There's your plant. Also, because the Christmas tree had to go on a little vacation today, 
the baby had to come out of the tree. But now that it's back, the baby can go back. And what's the story on the baby? Um, Is this I don't one, know. one time you stuck him in the tree and he's been there ever since? I guess. And my happy cabbage is struggling along as it does. This guy. Woo! He's looking actually pretty happy. Yeah, the top is quite happy. But that... <laughs> is ridiculous. That trunk. So, you're thinking about maybe... Yes. Cutting it off <laughs> and restarting the growth. So, cut it around this part right yeah. here-ish. And put it in water, just like it came... Or, just like I did the original. Yeah. year and a half ago. And then it should root. And... <clears throat> And I would replant it. So I wonder if you cut it like up here, if this would keep growing and you could keep like making new ones. That's a good idea. I don't know if it would. I don't know how to, it's a kale. It's an ornamental kale. We yeah. call it a happy cabbage. Um, uh, so ornamental kale, freakishly tall, behead it. What length? <laughs> Does that look nice? I don't know. I I'm don't gonna know. fall over. Okay. I ever mentioned how brilliant Peter is? Okay, so this is the wide bowl like planter that Mary got that she was talking about for like using for propagation and stuff. Mm. And those long, the succulents with the long stem or roots, I mean. And she was saying we need to find a piece of mesh or screen or something to go down by that hole because we need the drainage but we don't want the dirt to fall through. So I went in the basement and I was searching for like screen or mesh or I was like surely we have something down here that would work. And I found in some old stuff that we had from a previous life uh, this, well I'll show you, it was a tea infuser thing loose leaf. loose loose leaf tea infuser like you it had another it had this one and uh we haven't used it in years and so it was just sitting in a drawer i was like i could break that off and make a little like screen plug for the bottom of the uh planter so look at this this just, fits in the oddly satisfying fact uh category of I the just, internet. I just stuffed it in the hole and it just kind of formed around the shape of the hole. That is incredible. And it's a screen plug. There you go. So we, if you need a screen plug, recycle. you feel yeah. all right. If you need a screen plug, you can always use a tea infuser. <laughs> Would you like me to clear off all the grocery ads so you can jump up? Okay, I could do that. Okay, now you can jump up. <laughs> Tonight when we got back, we were like, maybe we should eat. I was looking at the grocery ad and like the crab legs were on sale and we were like yeah let's have like a nice dinner and Peter went to the grocery store that that ad was starts this coming Sunday <laughs> not bad <laughs> so we were like okay replay of last night's dinner lettuce wraps and this time we didn't have a whole lot of chicken left so we put some avocado on top and sauteed vegetables Delicious. And it is, you know, we're still at home together. Yeah. Even though it's not crabs, it's also delicious. Oh yeah, I'm kind of more excited about this. And as always. As always. We will, we will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good night. Good night. And good night to Holly boy. Sorry, buddy. Good night, guys. See you tomorrow.